How are you, Hamza? Sir, I'm fine. What about you, sir? I'm also fine. Good evening. Good evening, sir. No. Today is uh, the test day. Other students can come in a few minutes. Just you can revise uh, all last thing, all the briefings. Just you can revise. Then I will start test after a few minutes. How are you, Jalil? Assalamu alaikum, sir. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine. And you, sir? Nice. Today is a test day. Just you can fresh up all things in your mind regarding last briefings. Then I will start test after two or three minutes. We have done three topics, three briefings we have done, including uh, self-introduction and interview. Yes, sir. Let us start test. There are two parts of test. First of all, I will ask you questions. I will ask you five questions. Then the second part of test is presentation. Everybody have to give presentation for three minutes on concerned topic. Yes, Hamza. I have to take a start from you. Yes, sir. Are you ready? I ask you first question. How you can define two professions? Uh, if people devote their time for earning for daily purpose, it is called professions. Okay. I ask you question one. I ask you other question. Can you tell me that how we can adopt good habits and how we can give up to bad habits? I need your suggestions. Uh, 
Sir, I was absent when you teach the lesson habit. No, my God. Good answer. Okay. I, so you should uh, cover up now all, uh, you know, briefings. Uh, okay. Uh, you can get from YouTube all lectures. You can find lecture, miss lecture from YouTube. Are you conscious about it or unconscious about it? Sir, I know about it. You know about it? Yes, sir. So you can find from there. You did not uh, find from. Yeah. Uh, sir, I, for I forgot about it, sir. Okay, you slept from mind, I think so now. Okay, change the question. Next time you, you need care about it. Okay, sir, sure. I ask you this question. You tell me. I change the question. Question number two. Uh, now you tell me that uh, what happened in Pakistan on 28th May 1998? On 28th May 1998, Pakistan has, uh, Pakistan have um, explosed their atomic bomb in Chari and show the world that we have a, a power of atomic bomb. Okay. Question number three. You tell me why it was impossible for Muslims and Hindus to stay together in the subcontinent. Sir, can you repeat? I have a question. Why it was impossible for Hindus and Muslims to stay together in the subcontinent? Yeah. Because they both are different, uh, Muslims are different from Hindus, their religion, their custom, their, uh, uh, their culture, each and everything, uh, they are different from Hindus. Okay. And they cannot live together. Right. Because, Mus we, uh, because uh, Pakistan, uh, we are Muslim and they, they are Hindus, that's why. They cannot match. Wait. Question number four I ask you now. You tell us if we have to adopt good profession. So what things we have to adopt? I need your suggestion. Uh, uh, first, we should learn English language for uh, professions because it is very important. Uh, rather than uh, uh, experience is very important. We should yes. get. Uh, we should get first English language. After that, we should uh, uh, get job in, in professions. Okay. Right. Now, question number four. Okay, complete it now. Now I ask you, last question, you tell me. You tell me why professions are important for us. Profession is very important for everyone. People can avoid from tensions by professions. People can avoid from many diseases. People can be helpful, not helpless. People can get many benefits by professions. People can be happy by profession. We can get promotions in professions. Okay. I ask you five questions uh, completed now. Okay. okay, next one, next phase. So, are you ready, Abdul Jalil? Yes, sir. I ask you, what are two main types of habits? Sir, uh, habits? Sir, uh, habit is a uh, use for daily life. 
and habit seems to be a nasty word uh, at least for most of us uh, and uh, each us has a seat of routine or habit for doing thing that we have to do each daily uh, routine we do every day play and uh, importance in our lives uh, habits enable us to do things with without having to think uh, too much about them it is a behavior that is that we usually do in our every day Question yes, is sir. I ask, okay, I ask you the next question. Can you tell me what did Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan, for Muslims in the subcontinent? I want to ask for achievements from Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan for Muslims in the subcontinent. Did you understand my question? Sir Said, Sir Said Ahmad Khan is a Muslim leader of Pakistan and uh, uh, Sir, Sir Said Ahmad Khan is a Muslim leader of Pakistan. He is the okay. I have the next question, question number three. Yes. Can you uh, throw light? Can you explain about importance of habits? Why habits are important for us? Sir, so importance of habits? Yeah. Uh, sir. Sir, habits. Uh, have only uh, which uh, is clean and dirty and uh, the behavior uh, sir the habits is a behavior smiling allies greeting helping and it is uh, becoming uh, becoming the include uh, studying always hard working reading uh, books and uh, walking up early and uh, we know that everyone like people this kind uh, for the habits in many habits is uh, being unpleasant some people like make unpleasant thing in a few people sir okay yes sir okay right question number four i ask you can you tell me what is the major or basic problem in pakistan I have to read my question. Are Pakistan? I have to read my question. Do you answer my question nicely? Yes, sir. Okay, so reply me. Sir, whose question, sir? I sir, read my question. Sir, repeat for the, your question, sir. What is the basic and major problem in Pakistan? Sir, Pakistan uh, basic and major problems are the corruption, uniform payment, sir, pollution, transpar- transportation, sir, water access, political and uh, failure, judicial system, mass media, sir, it is your. Okay. I have to ask question. Yes, sir. I ask you why mostly people can't adopt good profession in Pakistan, what are the problems behind to find good profession in Pakistan? Sir, a good profession of Pakistan, sir. Oh my God. I asked, read my question. Yes. What problems people have to face to find good jobs in Pakistan? I have to repeat my question. Sir, yes, sir. Okay. Sir, Pakistan is a Islamic republic, and uh, 
is the dominion of Pakistan with the British Commonwealth as the result of Pakistan. And uh, the world highest powered international road and uh, world highest density processors are uh, and uh, Sir Pakistan is a uh, best country of Islam. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. After three minutes, I will start presentations by you. Then you can refresh or fresh up all points in your mind regarding presentation for three minutes. I give you three minutes. Let you fresh up all main points regarding last briefings. Then I will ask, start other part of test after three minutes. Okay, Hamza. Yes, sir. Let you start a presentation for three minutes on profession. Okay. On profession. Let us start. Profession. Now. Okay, sir. A profession. If people devote their time for earning for daily purpose, it is called professions. Uh, it uh, uh, importance. Professions are very important for fulfilled to basic needs. Profession is a part of our life. Profession has greater importance for our need. There are, there are, no, sorry, uh, uh, in all over the world, people are busy in jobs and businesses. There are two types of professions, job and businesses. Job. Many people uh, doing their jobs in uh, like uh, in offices, in bankings, uh, in shopping malls, like uh, in colleges, universities, uh, like uh, our teachers, uh, clerk, uh, banking officer, manager, etc. Uh, businesses. Uh, there are many kinds of businesses like construction business, uh, textile business, transport business, dry food business, uh, hotels, and uh, travel agencies. 
uh, in benefits people can avoid from tensions by professions people can avoid from many diseases people can be helpful not helpless people can be can get many benefit by profession people can be happy by profession we can get promotions in professions yes sir okay done oh suggestion sir suggestion suggestion <laughs> first of all we should get okay we should get education uh, uh education english is very important for any type of profession any kind of profession people should have skills for their profession people should have experience for their profession uh if they have no knowledge about uh, uh english uh, about a profession and experience they can they have nothing to do and there will be no profession for them if they have no yes sir okay okay <clears throat> yes uh you have to speak on habits as a presentation for 3 minutes let's start now sir habits sir habits are used for daily life and habits seem to be nasty word at least for most of us each of us uh, has a set of habits for doing things uh, that we have to do each day and uh, that we do every day play and importance in our lives routine habits enable us to do things uh, without having to think uh, too much about them it is a behavior that uh, we usually do in our everyday uh, and uh, the habits are good habits and bad habits are habits have only one habits which is a clean dirt and dirty habits sir there there are good habits are the behavior good good habits sir such as smiling allies greeting helping attitude needed in becoming and uh, include studying always uh, hard working uh, reading working and uh, we know everyone like people with this kind of habits sir and bad habits are um, of many habits is being unpleasant some people like make unpleasant thing uh, any people uh mostly road people do not face you when talking and uh, they often talk loudly it is a uh, sir and uh, uh find a few sir of habits uh, in islam everything uh, considered harmful either considered harmful uh, to body mind soul of or society is a uh, prohibit uh, haram and uh, will uh, whatever it is a uh, beneficial is a uh, permissible halal muslim religious uh, leader have the power of forgive people and uh, and the sir and suggestion for habits but of course uh, suggestion like my suggestion of dump uh, simon will fall on deep areas here one suggestion by computer generated plan for uh, open years uh, so, yeah. yes sir okay complete it now time is over now time of result now hamza got total marks total marks 50 total marks 50 obtained in both question answer and presentation obtained <clears throat> hamza got 38 marks out of 50 and jalil got 27 marks pass pass <clears throat> uh 
I won't tell you about uh, your mistakes now, where you did mistakes. In future, you should uh, avoid from same mistakes. You should not repeat your mistakes. You must avoid from same mistakes. First of all, you have to listen my question carefully. I give you further chance. You have one chance. If you don't understand my question, so you can say, sir, please repeat your question. I will repeat my question, but no third chance. I will not repeat my question for third time. Keep in mind this thing now. First of all, you have to understand my question carefully. You should be focused on me. If you have doubt, then you must say, sir, please repeat your question. So I will repeat my question. It means you have one chance, not two chances. On the other hand, you have to make short sentences. Don't try to make long sentence. In this situation, you will be confused. As I told you five to six times already, you have to prefer three tenses. By these tenses, you can make short sentences. I mean to say, present different tense, past different tense, and future different tense according to need. On the other hand, third problem, where is third problem now? You have to improve your pronunciation or accent. How you can improve your pronunciation or accent? You have to speak English with people. On the other hand, if you have doubt, if you are not prepared well, then you have to listen my briefings again and again, five to six times or till 10 times. It depends on you. In this way, you can improve your listening skill. If you have to improve your listening skill, most probably you can speak well. Where is problem? Problem is here that if you don't speak nicely, don't listen nicely, you don't understand. So you can't reply well. It is also main problem here. You have to improve your listening skill. If you have to improve your listening skill, so you can also improve your accent or pronunciation. And you can get benefit and in time you can reply me well if you understand nicely. So you have to improve your listening skill. It is most important for you. If you have to improve your listening skill, then you have to improve your accent and pronunciation. You can speak according to, you know, listening material. According to that, you can speak well, you can copy me, no problem, you can copy me. If you copy me, I give you guarantee, it is your way of success, I give you guarantee. Problem, where is problem? Problem is here. That uh, actual problem I understood about all the students. I take many classes here. I talk about language classes. Main problem of students is listening problem. It is language. If you can improve your listening skill in any language, I don't talk only about English language. I talk about any language. You have to improve your listening skill. Most probably you can reply well and you can get good marks in the test. These are golden instructions for you. You have to follow my guidelines, my instructions. Your success is my success. You believe me. You have to do it much time for listening skill. You have to listen CNN. You have to listen BBC. You have to listen my briefings. You have to talk in English with people. Especially you have to use vocabulary in your conversation. You should talk with somebody.
instead of you have to talk in your uh, in your language urdu or pashto or any language but you have to use english vocabulary in your conversation make it your habit inshallah you can improve your accent and pronunciation but on priority base you have to improve your listening skill you have to listen again and again bbc cnn my lectures my briefings on youtube if you miss any class you can get class from youtube no problem i give you guarantee you can improve well you can improve yourself rapidly quickly or fastly give you guarantee now these are golden instructions for you success is now hamza got uh, 38 marks out of 50 and uh, uh, jalil got 27 marks out of 50 most past in starting situation was not of you you could not get good marks in starting classes but now you pass this test so it's a good sign for you if you have to further follow my instructions i give you guarantee jalil can get good marks he can get marks up to 40% he can get marks uh, 40 out of 50 same here you know hamza can get marks 45 out of 50 and if you do work hard i give you guarantee you can get marks both of you you can get mark 47 to 48 out of 50 47 or 48 it is possible why not everything is possible i give you guarantee you can get 50 marks out of 50 it is also possible by struggle it is possible you have to follow my instructions i appreciate you that you have to follow my instructions i appreciate you but you need further you have to follow me if you are you can talk me in english you can speak english but of me you can speak english everywhere for the things you have to improve okay it's a good sign for you you have confidence it's good sign for you if you have confidence then you can speak english but you have to improve your further confidence you need further confidence you should know that you are speaking quite right it is confidence how it is possible just by maximum practice much practice it is possible you have to listen to the speeches of kaidi adam you have to listen to zulf ali bhutto the speeches of zulf ali bhutto leaders of pakistan you have to listen to the speeches of them now you have to get much confidence in this way i'm much hopeful that you have show as usual you will show good performance in the next test i'm much happy both of you passed this test i'm much happy but you need further struggle any question abdul uh, jalil or hamza no sir you will act on my instructions no, sir jalil and uh, hamza yes sir i got that's good today students uh, just to, you two should in the class i will have to get test from other students on monday and then i will start new briefing on monday inshallah and uh, you will follow my instruction and especially i told you that you have to use vocabulary in your, in your common uh, conversation you have to use english vocabulary in your common conversation make it a habit now on the other hand you have to improve your listening skill again and again you have to listen my briefings you have to listen you have to listen cnn and bbc inshallah you can perform well in the next test okay yes sir okay so class yes, going to end now inshallah we have to meet again on monday sharp 4 pm okay wish you good luck yes, sir. god bless you sir, allah hafiz sir can i get screenshot of this sorry can i get screenshot should i get screenshot of this should i, I take screenshot i don't understand what you said i want to uh, take picture of board oh wow oh, oh. okay why not thank you sir welcome thank you sir done sir welcome love is okay god bless you allah is